I have won NaNoWriMo again. What's up guys, it is Friday, it is July 24th, and I am planning to win it all today. Right now I'm at 32,906 words, and so I only have 2,000 and some words to go, and I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> That's kind of it. Um, I have been just kind of hitting my word count, but I just kind of wanted to vlog when I actually win it. Um, so this will be my last vlog of the month. I think I'm going to take a whole channel break after this. I just need to take a whole break, um, get back into reading, and yeah. So I just wanted to update and start the vlog. I think that today's vlog will just be a whole day, um, and that will be the last of my NaNoWriMo vlog. So I'm going to get started. It is 12 o'clock. I am going to finish my first draft today and win Camp NaNoWriMo. So let's get started. <laughs> Cold sweat, I was in a nightmare, searching in the dark, but I couldn't find you. There were footsteps coming down the hallway, but when I turned around, it wasn't you. I was looking at myself, I couldn't see my face, but deep down I knew it was true. Shadows handed me a question, if I ever lost you, what would I do? What would I do? What's up guys, it is 3 o'clock and I just realized that the clip that I filmed at 2.30 had no audio. I forgot to turn on my microphone, so that's my bad. I was saying in that clip that I hit 1,466 words and I was just going to update you every maybe like 20 to 30 minutes. And it is currently 3 o'clock. I am so close to winning and terrified because... I still have three scenes to finish. I am at the end of my book. The biggest accomplishment I am taking out of this is that I've never finished anything like writing related, unless it was like an essay, I guess. Um, but any like creative writing, I've just never finished. I have so many short stories that I just never got to the end of. Um, and this is my biggest accomplishment that I'm actually getting to the end. But it's also a problem because my goal and my whole manuscript goal I could finish in like one chapter because there's right now what right now there's 1332 words and I am finishing I have like wow I have like one chapter left like or two chapters I guess because the chapter I'm on right now I've been writing since 12 I went outside to write and then it started raining so then I went to my porch and then I went inside because my computer started dying, but I did get some words out there. I am finishing up a chapter right now, chapter 27, and then I will do chapter 28 and win Camp NaNoWriMo. So it's three o'clock. Hopefully I'll win in like an hour, um, but I will come back in the next 20 to 30 minutes. The AC is on, so hopefully you can hear me. Maybe I'll just talk louder, but it is 3.40. I have written 1,079 words. I have 1,015 left. I'm tired, <laughs> but I'm excited. The scene that I'm writing, I'm really excited about, and I just love my character so much that I am just excited for his end result. Um, so just kind of wanted to update a little bit about that. I'm having a good time. I'm just tired, but I'm gonna persevere and get this finished. 
It's currently five o'clock. I have not hit my word count yet, and I don't know if I will because I'm exhausted. I don't know. I'm just really tired now. Um, I stopped writing because I had to do some research because I realized that there is a certain team, a certain hockey team, um, that I did not name, and that is like a big part of the book. So that's on me. Um, and writing gets you to the weird places of the internet and currently I am at a subreddit for mascots. There is a whole subreddit about mascots. Never knew that but apparently it's people's lifelong dream to be a mascot. You do you, I do me. <laughs> but uh, okay. That's just what I wanted to update today. So I will let you know if I do any more writing today, but I feel like I might stop. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. I still have the same amount left. I have like a thousand fifteen words to go. So I might just take a little break and then resume my writing. If I do any more writing, I will obviously update you, but for now, I'm gonna go and take a break. What's up guys, it is Saturday and I'm going to win Camp NaNoWriMo today. It's 9 a.m. and so I'm going to spend the whole day writing. I had a dream that I was watching hockey. I'm a very simple guy, so that gave me some inspiration. Um, I did come up with the name that I needed to come up with yesterday um, for the hockey team that my team will be playing so but yeah i will just do what i did yesterday and just update every 20 to 30 minutes until i win so today's the day i'm going to win camp nanowrimo and i'm so excited so let's get started with the day and get writing it's 10 30 first check-in of the day i have 780 words to go I don't know if I got to say this yesterday because I had no audio on that clip, but in that clip, I said I have a chapter left, which is still true. And I thought that I would hit my goal before I finished the manuscript because I could easily just write a whole chapter and be done. Um, but I'm not technically done because I still have a chapter to go. Um, technically, I guess like two chapters because I'm writing a chapter right now, but I have two chapters to go. I have 780 words left and I will update you in the next half hour or maybe like 20 to 30 minutes because I feel like I can probably win in like the next hour. So the next clip is either going to be an update or me saying that I won. It is currently 1130. I have 295 words to go until I win Camp NaNoWriMo and finish my first draft. I made myself some iced coffee and I'm about to win Camp NaNoWriMo in probably the next 30 minutes to an hour. So just wanted to update about that. The next update will probably be at 100 words and then I will win and finish my first draft. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah. See you guys when I win. <laughs> this is my update at 1216 that I have 150 words left. Let's go. Uh, 150 words left. Um, let's get it. <laughs> That's my update for now. Next update, I will win. Camp NaNoWriMo. Let's go. <laughs> You already know what's up. Yeah. <laughs> 
it is a beautiful day to win Camp Nanorama. I'm not finished yet, but I will submit my word count. I'm so excited. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, beautiful. I'm not finished my draft at all. <laughs> I'm not, but it's fine. Oh, uh, I'm so excited. Alright, I'm gonna finish my draft. Just finish up, like, this chapter and then submit my word count. I have won NaNoWriMo again. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I just love that little thing. It's amazing. It's a great accomplishment. So now that I've won camp, what does that mean for me? I am taking a break. <laughs> I have not taken a social media break since May and a lot has happened since then. Corey's death, um, the protests and the Black Lives Matter movement that I've been advocating for, um, JK Rowling and all of her bullshit. Um, and we're in the midst of a global pandemic and I am sick and tired of going onto my Instagram or my Twitter and seeing people still post about JK Rowling, still posting Harry Potter and I am sick and tired of hearing about it. It is definitely something that I just can't hear at the moment and I just need to have like a break and I constantly see all of my favorite creators who I have since unfollowed that are in Mexico or have a collab video and I just hate to see people that I enjoy their entertainment just not taking the global pandemic seriously and California now has the most cases and I just hate seeing selfish people and I feel like every time I go onto social media now I just get angry because people are still not treating trans people right um people still don't care about us um and people I could make like a whole video on things. I'm afraid to even speak out about it because every time I do speak out about it, people just shun me and say mean things to me and I just am really done. So I'm going to take this time to read and just not feel like this anymore. I am sick of just going onto social media and not seeing anyone take the pandemic seriously, take me and my life seriously or just so I am going to take a two-week break. That does not mean that I am done advocating for the Black Lives Matter movement. That does not mean that I am done just talking about everything that is going on. Like always, I have petitions linked down below. I'm adding a new one, which is that the USPS is not going to have any funding anymore. So please sign the petition, go to your post office if it is safe, and buy some stamps and just help them if you are in the US because our postal services are going to shit. And we need to keep them alive because that is how booktube runs. That is how our books are sent. For me, all of the physical arcs that I'm being sent are actually switching over to Kindle or just e-copy and so thank you to publishers that are actually taking this global pandemic seriously. Shout out to you um, and that is specifically Macmillan, um, Penguin Teen. I know they have sent me stuff um, and we really need to keep our postal services alive because that is how we get review copies for books and that is how we send books and it is just a very important thing so please go and sign the petitions if you are in the- I want everyone to keep watching black booktubers or author tubers um because that is a side so if you enjoyed my writing vlogs I will link two people down below it is Kalila and um Kishé. I really love Kishé at the moment. She's awesome um and I am really enjoying them. I did send out a message on my community tab and if you missed it I'll just reiterate here. I have added many black booktubers that I'm enjoying to my description and to that sidebar. There's like a sidebar on my channel that you can see the channels that I'm enjoying and I'm going to update them every month. Please do your part and keep watching their content. It is so disturbing and disgusting to hear that people are just not watching them anymore because that is not how you support anyone in this community. Um, and I'm also going to link a trans booktuber. So please go down below, sign all the petitions. Please be watching and following black creators, black bookstagrammers, like everyone. Like this is not over people. Please wear a mask. Please only go outside if it's essential. And 
like, I just want to get out of this pandemic. I am sick and tired of this. And stop talking about Harry Potter. Like, please. Every time I see it, it makes me uncomfortable. Every time I have to hear about it, it makes me uncomfortable. And I don't understand why people are still allowing people to post about Harry Potter. Um, like, there's nothing wrong. Hi, I didn't want this to get taken out of context, so I did want to mention that this is more so people that are just posting it, posting the books, like, la la la, nothing's happening, not the people that are actually talking about why we need to stop supporting it. So I just wanted to mention that, just in case anything gets taken out of context. Um, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you're still doing camp, I hope that this encouraged you to keep going. I am so excited to just be done and be able to get back into my story and I already know what I want to do for Nano. I already have that story brewing in my head. So I am going to leave for two weeks and I am very excited about it. I'm gonna read Cemetery Boys and I'm very excited. I don't know if I'll vlog it honestly because I don't know if I want to keep vlogging. I just really just want to take a break but I am going to try and keep just sharing things. Um, go to my Instagram and follow me if you haven't because I'm always adding things to my story and I'll try and make like a highlight of all of the causes and messages that I keep posting. If you missed it, go over to my latest booktube video where I paired One Direction songs with books where I talk all about the causes that are important to me, how I've added many, many petitions and donation links to my description. And I talk a lot in that video. So even if you don't like One Direction, I think it's a important video to watch. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave for two weeks. I hope you're all having a great day and please go and watch all of the black booktubers that I linked down below because we need to keep supporting them and not support them only when a black man dies. So I'm gonna leave for two weeks. Bye. <laughs>